Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks from Cydia. I'd also like to note the bar at the top of the video. If there's a particular tweak that you want to see, simply click on its name and it'll take you straight to the tweak in the video. So go ahead and get your eye devices out and let's begin. <laughs> First up, we have Dash. Now what Dash is, is a multitask replacement for your multitask bar. So per activation method you set, you can have custom animations as well as a card-like view of all your background tasks. You can view the applications you have open by simply swiping left or right as I'm doing here. Something else that I like about this tweak is that it gives you the icon in the right hand corner to show you what you're exactly looking at as well. There are a few settings for this particular application where you can customize the activation method as well as the display settings, which is the animation itself. You have scroll, cover flow, time machine, rotary, and cylinder. So just taking a quick look at cover flow, it does give you that iTunes album like artwork feel of the multitask bar here. Something else that Dash allows you to do is quickly close out of running applications in your background by simply swiping up. Next, we have a tweak that allows you to customize the animation for exiting out of an application, as well as opening up an application, and even switching from one application to the next. Now, there are some settings for this particular tweak, which is known as Display Candy where you can customize the animation and you have quite a few options. I'm not gonna go through any of them for the sake of time, but you can customize the entry, the exit, and the switch animation for your applications, as well as certain options for each animation, which include the direction of it and the length of the transition time. Our third tweak for today is Grid Tab Safari. And what it does is it allows you to have a grid-like view of your open windows in Safari. It makes it easier to look at whatever websites you currently have open and running in the background, as well as it makes it easier to close them out. Now you don't have many options and settings for Grid Tab Safari, but you can adjust the layout to be two by two or three by three. Next, we have Stay Open, and this is one of my personal favorites because I feel like it should already be integrated into iOS. And what it does is it allows your applications that you are downloading in the App Store to download in the background so you won't be interrupted. So as you can see here, I'm updating these two applications, and I'm just going to jump to my home screen to show you exactly what I mean. I physically left the App Store and went to the home screen, and my application is downloading in the background. So now when you're in the app store and you download an application, it will no longer jump to your home screen to show you that it's downloading. Instead, it will do so in the background so you can finish your browsing. Now, this also brings me to my next tweak that I want to show you, which is another one of my personal favorites, and that is Swipe Bright. I love this tweak because it allows you to adjust the brightness from right here in your notification center. And I'm constantly adjusting my brightness. So this tweak and the ease of accessing it is something that I really enjoy. To turn down your brightness, all you have to do is slide down and to turn it up, you slide up. Pretty simple. And for the sixth tweak, we have TV Locker Pro. And what it does is it gives you an animation into your lock screen. So when you go to your lock screen, you now have a TV tube animation. Now there are a few options for this tweak, such as using a screenshot instead of a color for the TV tube animation, or you can use a specific color. And you have a lot of variations that you can choose from. I'm going to demonstrate with red, so you can kind of get a feel for how it looks. And also let's try yellow to give you a, another visual of how you can customize it. I personally like using white, the standard, one because to me it looks more realistic but you can also make it available in landscape and landscape and <laughs> landscape mode as well as play the television tube sound when you're doing it coming in next is another useful tweak and that's spring ground 
What it allows you to do is access your icons that are on your home screen from anywhere in your device. So per activation method you set, which is in my case sliding down from the top, your icons then appear while you are in that application. Now I really like this tweak because it allows you to access so many icons with ease instead of just being able to access those that are running in the background in your multitask bar. So to exit out of it, you do have to hit the home button, but you do have a few options in your settings as well such as turning on the apps interaction and that will allow it so that whenever you use spring around if you also want to be able to access whatever is behind it then you can do so so as you can see here i can still scroll throughout my settings if i so choose and next i have sb floating icons this is a tweak that's useful for those that may want to wow their friends or just add a unique appeal to their device in general because what it does is it takes use of the accelerometer in the uh, device and allows your icons to rotate with your hand gestures. So as you can see, whenever I move my hand to the left or right, the icons rotate with it. Now there are a few settings for this tweak. So you have the option to enable it or disable it. Also enable the floating icons or the dock, as well as make it a 3D icon rotation, 2D or a 3D icon scaling. And I'll let you explore that on your own. Next up, we have 360 Mobile Safe. It allows you to block phone calls and text messages as well as protect your privacy and with different features in that where you can lock various parts of your phone. You also have a one touch button to clean your phone, which will make it faster, as well as battery management. So you can see how much time you have left before your battery dies. In addition to that, you can monitor your network traffic to make sure you don't go over your data. And you also have a anti theft protection for your phone, which will allow you to lock down your phone along with a few other options. Settings for this application are found within the application itself where you can do certain things like uh, make your phone vibrate when you, a call connects or vibrates when a call disconnects along with a ton of other options. This application reminds me a bit of Spring to Mons 2. It's one that I really enjoy because it gives you so many options from within this tweak and the fact that it's free just makes it even more appealing to me. <laughs> Lastly we have swipe selection which is a new way to edit text on the iPad and the iPhone as well as the iPod by using gestures on the keyboard to move the cursor and select the text. So as you can see here, I'm just sliding my finger from left to right amongst my keyboard to get to different parts in the text. That way I can easily edit it without having to click on the text itself and trying to get that magnifying glass to appear. Now I want to hear from you guys. So please drop down below. What did you think of this video? What tweaks did you like, didn't like? And also, what do you think of the new navigation I have at the top of the videos? Be sure you thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe as well and follow me on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. I now have a Facebook page. So if you have a Facebook, please show your support by liking that page. The link is in the description box below. And sharing a video or two would be appreciated. <laughs> But that concludes everything, so you already know how the saying goes. Team Stickman. <laughs> Plan about that. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.